Martin Luther King Jr. was born on January 15, 1929, into an American Baptist family. King would one day grow to become the figurehead of the civil rights movement in the United States. Through his peaceful protesting approach, he would touch the lives of millions, giving America the push that was required to finally enact equality for all. After Rosa Parks was arrested in December of 1955 for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus in Montgomery, Alabama, the local leader of the NAACP met with Dr. King and others to plan citywide bus boycotts. Because of his great energy and demeanor, King was chosen to lead the boycotts, which lasted 382 days. Despite the taunting and imprisonment that participants endured, the boycotts were extremely successful in attracting attention. Participants carpooled and used taxi systems that hurt the bus system financially. King wanted to maintain the momentum that African Americans had gathered throughout the success of the boycotts. With other leaders, King started the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. This organization organized nonviolent protests against segregation. The SCLC was also a powerful force in encouraging Afri African Americans to vote. Along with the SCLC, King was a big supporter of the sit-in movements that began in February of 1960. They organized conferences to aid the movements with advocacy groups, such as the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee and the Congress on Racial Equality. On August 28, 1963, over 200,000 people representing a number of civil rights groups gathered at the Lincoln Memorial for what was known as the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. Approximately 30,000 soldiers, police officers, and members of the National Guard were called into the surrounding area to manage and monitor the crowd. King's speech primarily focused on the importance of persisting in nonviolent efforts. He said, In the process of gaining our rightful place, we must not be guilty of wrongful deeds. Let us not seek to satisfy our thirst for freedom by drinking from the cup of bitterness and hatred. We must forever conduct our struggle on the high plane of dignity and discipline. We must not allow our creative protest to, to degenerate into physical violence. There were ten main speakers in addition to King, including religious leaders, labor union heads, and heads of advocacy groups. The program also included music from artists such as Bob Dylan and Peter, Paul, and Mary. Eventually, however, the peaceful event was interrupted by police dogs and officers with high-pressure fire hoses, which injured many of the participants. King was jailed along with many others. King also worked with the SCLC and other civil rights activists to organize several other marches, such as the Selma to Montgomery marches in 1965, which helped to spread the energy and passion behind the civil rights movement. Both King and Malcolm X attended Senate's debates on the Civil Rights Act, which was passed in July of 1964. While Malcolm X and King often disagreed, they agreed upon the legal necessity of prohibiting racial discrimination in public accommodations and in the workplace. King strongly believed that anything could be accomplished through peace, and relied heavily on the teachings of Gandhi. His nonviolence rhetoric extended to the Cold War, and in 1964, Dr. King was invited by the mayor of West Berlin to speak at a festival there. He said, Here in Berlin, one cannot help being aware that you are the hub around which turns the wheel of history. For just as we are proving to be the testing ground of races living together in spite of their differences, you are testing the possibility of coexistence for the two ideologies which now compete for world dominance. If ever there were a people who should be constantly sensitive to their destiny, the people of Berlin, East and West, should be they. On April 4, 1968, King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee. This sudden assassination may have ended King's life, but it did not end his cause. The people of the United States continued to walk in King's footsteps and fight for the rights they knew every person deserved. King's legacy continues to live on through the ages, influencing countless movements and bringing hope to millions.